Uh, I think you're going to like this one, guys. It's one that I've been looking forward to quite a lot. Here we go. It is trouble choosing. Uh, the Alhadikia. The Alhadikia is a demon whose ability reads each night, not the first night. Choose three players. All players learn who. Each silently chooses to live or die, but if all live, all die. So, there's quite a lot to unpack there, but it's quite simple. Um, when we go to sleep, uh, when you get around to the demon, the Al Hadikia, you'll wake them up. They'll choose three players. You'll then say, the Al Hadikia has chosen this person, this person, and this person. And you have to one do it time. in that one order. Time. One at a time. You, sorry, the later ones, you don't do them all at the same time. You only, tear, you only say the first one. So that the others don't know who it is. Uh, Sorry. Oh, what? You just say the Al Hadikir is chosen. You no, you say the Al Hadikir is chosen, Ben, and then you will do the waking up, Ben. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you do it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, all right. You do it one person at a time. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. So Al Hadikir has chosen this person. Then you'll wake them up. You'll ask them if they want to live or die. In person, it's either a, you'll say, "Do you want? You know, do you want to live?" And they'll nod for yes or no for die. Um, then you'll get the next person, you'll wake them up, you'll ask them the same question. Then the third person, you'll announce them, you'll ask them the same question. Um, if all three of them choose to live, all three of them die. If all, if, if some of them are dead, but they choose to live, they can actually come back to life. Finally, I believe, but correct me if I'm wrong, Ed, if they die by other means during the night, that counts as them dying, regardless of what they chose. Um, so you, you evaluate the Al Hadikia at the end. Like basically, you do the three choices, and then for the if all live all die, it is once the last person has chosen. If at that moment in time everyone is alive, they all die. Um, so the risk of this in Trouble Brewing, which is great, is that if the Al Hadikia picks the soldier and two others, the soldier cannot die to the demon. So if the other two say they want to live they're guaranteed going to die because the soldier can't. Even if the soldier said die, they can't. <laughs> yeah, and the soldier won't die, <laughs> but the other two yes. will. So you'll get a two death knight, which is always fun. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I, I, feel like I, I uh, flubbed that explanation a little bit there, which is I'm a bit annoyed at myself for because I've actually run the Al Hadikia a lot. Like normally when we when we do these characters, I'm more experienced than your average guy, but not like a veteran. But I think you. You probably agree, Ed, that I've run a lot of Al Hadikia. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Ed's gonna do his right, usual type up, I think. Don't forget that there's this week's or this fortnight script competition is to build a script with the Al Hadikia. That should be a lot of fun. There's a lot of fertile ground there for you. We're expecting some really good scripts. Um, but what I will say is, all players always know that there's an Al Hadikia in the game. So unless unless you intend to put a pit hag in it you might want to consider making it a one demon script. Would you agree with that, Ed? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no harm in it going in with Leviathan and things, but the problem is then balancing that. Um, there's no harm in it going in with something else that's confirmed. But Absolutely, yeah. Otherwise. I mean, my, one of my favorite custom scripts that I've made has all four demons are objectively confirmable by night two. So it doesn't have to be a staple of Blood on the Clock Tower that you need to figure out which demon's in play. But keep in mind, you're making scripts that are going to show off the Al Hadikia for us. And while it can be a lot of fun making people paranoid that there's a player in play, when they're actually not in play, um, that's not possible with an Al Hadikia. It's going to people will objectively know whether or not there's one in play by night two. The Jinx. I thought you'd never ask. Um, oh God, I wrote this down and now I've forgotten it. I got it. Uh, if there are two living Al Hadikias, the Scarlet Woman Al Hadikia becomes the Scarlet Woman again. So basically, if uh, you kill the Al Hadikia, great, the Scarlet Woman becomes the Al Hadikia. Um, obviously, the problem there is that the Scarlet Woman Al Hadikia can pick the original Al Hadikia, who's in, has got a vested interest in always saying, yes, I want to come back to life. If that happens, the Scarlet Woman just reverts to being the Al Hadikia, because otherwise you have two demons that can kill up to six, uh, six people between them in a night, and that's just crazy. <laughs> Um, everything is posted in the expansion info in the unofficial. The script composition is announced in the unofficial. Um, if people have questions, look at the expansion info. Uh, someone asked me the other day, what's the longest write-up I've had to do so far? This is it. This is a whole like five and a half, six pages um, of write-up for this one. So have fun with that, you guys. Um, and I'm going to get out of the way so Ben can set up. Are you using the same town square code, Ben? No, I'll put a new one up in important info. 
Cool. Okay. I'll get people on that then. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Okay. Do this. <clears throat> Could you explain the Alpha D kit inertial again? No. No, I can't. Um. All right. Let's let's do this. Oh, we've got a hype train on the go. Thank you very much. Sorry, I've been. These last two games have been super involved for me, and I've been terrible at, at thanking people for subs, but I really do appreciate all the subs. <clears throat> so, obviously, this is much easier to run in person. What we've decided to do online is we've decided to do it in text. So I'm going to I'm gonna tag everyone in the text chat and say, the Al-Hadikia has chosen this person, and then I'll go visit them. And that's probably the most sensible way of going about it. Let's hit the shuffle button. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm 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 up for that. I'm up for that as a setup. A lot of very powerful roles on there. No drunkenness or poisoning whatsoever, but they do have a spy. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh look, Nikki's not the Al Hadikia. Shock horror. Um right. Wow, this really is. There's like no misinformation possible at all except for the spy. That's very interesting. Okay, we'll let this. All right, gang, mm -hmm. are we ready? Taking a seat. Oh, I'm in between Nikki and Chris again. This this can only go well. <laughs> yeah, everyone's still dead on my town square. Is that? <clears throat> Uh, you, you need to you need to rejoin the to other rejoin. session code, yep. Nikki. Yep. Up on go. Jason and then join Come again. On. Yep. Sorry, guys, um, I've not played this very much. Uh, <laughs> noob. Have you been be nice to me? Oh, uh, it's, 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 it's fun. It's fun watching all the American streams struggling with this on the um, <laughs> on the naval release. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, can you please change your name from Pat to what your actual name is? <laughs> We're all it was bad. not our fault that it didn't work. Yeah, we didn't do uh, it. It was entirely Tyler and Capelli's fault <laughs> on the US three. All right, I'm gonna send you someone all to sleep. who has done this. Send out them chars. <clears throat> One in. Right, cool. Send characters. Alright, our bluffs for this game will be... Do you know what? I think Evil have got a pretty... Relatively... No, you know what? I'm up of helping Evil. Not helping Evil, early. We'll give them Investigator. <clears throat> we'll give them Recluse. And we'll give them... There, yeah. But really, they've got every other block. Right, let's be... Okay. The Ekin. <clears throat> Hello, Ekin. Hello. You have the honour of being the first person in the entire universe, except for playtesters, to try out the Al Hadikia. Are you Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't know what I would have done if you just said no. I'm leaving. Um, but yeah, your I, your, I... your your minions are Pat and Nadine. Your bluffs okay, are great. Investigator, uh -huh. Recluse, okay, and Mayor. Cool. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Hello, Pat. Good evening. So, uh, as you've seen, you're the spy. Yay. As you're probably about to learn, your demon is Ekin and your minion is Nadine. Alright. And I'll be back with you later. Alrighty. Hello, Nadine. Can you hear me? Yep, can you hear me? Yep. So, your minion is Pat. Okay. Your demon is Ekin. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. 
Just realised I've not done anything that one set up. I imagine somebody's currently screaming at me about that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, do you know what? There's no, there's no poisoning on this script. So I'm actually going to go ahead and tell Ed that either Pat... Yeah, let's see if he can figure this one out. I'm going to have Pat register as the drunk. And I'm going to tell him that either Pat... Or Wildstar is the drunk. Let's help evil out a little bit. Uh, fortune teller will have on Ed, the red herring. So let's just let's just handicap Ed as much as possible and see what it takes to, for him to not not solve the game in its entirety. All right, here we go. Hello, Ed. Hello. You awake and learn that either Pat or Wildstar is the drunk. Okay, great. Thank you. Welcome. Hello, Richie. Hello, you, hello. Hello, hello. You wake and learn that there are zero pairs of evil players sitting next to one another. Zero pairs. All right. I shall get cooking. All right. Cheers. Hello, Evie. Hello. Zero of your living neighbours are evil. That is a good way to establish a trust circle. Not that I'll trust either of them. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Wildstar. It's uh, it's time to peer into that crystal ball. Yes. Um. Chris and Evie. Chris and Evie. And you learn that no, neither of them is the demon. Right, in a bit. Hello, Jamie. Hey, mate, you right? Yeah, not bad, dude. Who would you like to bottle for tonight? I will bottle uh, Ed, please. Ed, it is. You. Cheers, bro. Thanks. Hello, Pat. Do your grim now. Well, alright. Alright, you got that? I do have that, yes. Ooh, okay, thanks. That's we're good, I think. Just do a quick, quick grimoire check to make sure I've not uh, changed anything. Oh yeah, the music, the music will occasionally stop. I've got, a, I've got a thing on, um, I've got a thing on YouTube where it pauses the music if I don't interact with YouTube for a while, and I, I could just turn it off. I could just stop that as a feature, but I'm like too lazy, and also I have a tendency to fall asleep with a laptop on, so uh, I don't want to wake up at 8:30 in the morning. When YouTube's gone over to some like random channel where it's telling me, I don't know, the bat the history of the Battle of Agincourt or some stuff. Actually, that doesn't sound like such a bad thing to wake up to. There are certainly worse things. Anyway, uh, let's wake everyone up. Stop trying to troll me, gambling. You can 100% hear me. All right, let's wake these guys up. All right. Good morning, everybody. Chat, stop trying to troll me. You can one hundred percent hear me. This is this is a this is this is a, this is supposed to be a demonstration of an experimental character for YouTube, and you are go going to go down in history as a bunch of dickheads. Pack it in. <laughs> <laughs> not the ones who forgot to put SD in front of their name. Uh, right. Yes, the game has uh, begun. Uh, I am now. I am now become ST. There we go. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Um... Have fun. Uh, try not to have three deaths for the first two nights, if you can. Um, Wildstar oh. and Nadine, can I borrow you both, please? Sure. Yes. Sure. Nikki and Chris. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Is everybody going for chats and threes? Apparently. Seemingly. Oh. 
Oh, uh, Pat and Jamie, can we chat? Of course. Sure, okay. Well, all my neighbours are gone. Basically, assuming that uh, Kat was deliberately trying to sell an empath bluff, either that or she's just been lucky and the entire evil team sat in a row. She'll also, um, shall I claim empath to you two and see what happens? Yeah, if you sure. Do you want? <laughs> I'm not the empath. Do, do we want to pick you guys up for some hard claims? Yeah, can I do if you want. Cool. Pat, oh, you're. Yeah. Why not? Cool. Uh, I'm claiming librarian. I'm not telling you what I saw. Hmm. All right. Okay. I am the butler. Cool. I didn't see you. That's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Raven Keeper. Cool. But, but okay. I'm only going to say this to, to you too. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. You can't really roll up with any of us, so. Yeah, we can't help you. No, nope, dude. But... Yep, that's why I'm deciding to just to trust you guys, and that's all I'm going to say. But I'm going to be absolutely lying to everybody else. Cool, sounds good. So yeah, I'm, already... I'm, I'm also going to try to not double claim. You yeah, but again, then why would I be claiming night one? So, yeah, cool. Although, although the night one playing as the librarian last game has served me quite well and long, that you didn't die at night, but. Mm -hmm. so, it's not, so it's not the worst situation ever. If I claim librarian again, maybe they think I'm double bluffing. So. Yeah, my, 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 go for it if you like. I'll put you later on that, but yeah, either way, yeah, sure. Well, sounds good. See you in a bit. Thanks. Cool. Bye. Anyone else want to chat? Uh, Is soldier immune from their hoodie, our hoodie? Yes. 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 I am they can, if they were dead, they can be resurrected by the al Hadikia, but if they're alive, then they cannot die to the al Hadikia. Yeah. yeah. So the soldier's a bit of a liability. Uh, this game seems to, to be very interesting. Wildstar, can we have a chat? Yeah, sure. Oh. Maggie, do you want to chat? Uh, sure, Carl, let's go. Uh, can I talk to Nadine? Sure, can. let's go. Soapbox. Hello. Help, I had to I had a card claim and I went for mayor. I don't know. I will oh. hope. Yeah, Mayor is a bluff. Um, I claimed Reckless or Mayor. I can pivot back to Reckless if, if we really have to. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, it was it was Cat and Wildstar. Cat uh, said she was an empath, but then pivoted to Saint. And Wildstar okay. said Fortune Teller. Okay. Um, what are you? I'm actually a Scarlet Woman. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. I am not in a whole lot of trouble if I go Reckless then. Uh, good. Yeah. Good uh, okay. So can I keep Mayor? Like, actually, hard claim it all day. Okay. Yeah, keep me. I'll 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 pivot back to Victus. Um, what is Pat? Do you know? No, not spoken to him yet. Okay, of course not. Um, uh, uh, Richie is Chef Zero. Yeah, Richie did claim Chef Zero. Um, sounds about right. Uh, he also gave Soldier. So, uh, if I wanted to, I guess I could test him. <laughs> Aggie claimed Undertaker or Saint. Um, so. Okay. Uh, take a Saint. Cool. Cats, uh, you could empath uh, or saint. saint. Yeah, okay. I think she's saint the way she pivoted, like, because she said empath to try and get us on board to claim to her, and then she's like, actually, I'm the saint, and I don't know. Right. I don't know um, why she would change it back, but. Um, what did you say Wildstar claimed as? A fortune teller and fortune what else? Fortune teller. Just fortune teller. Straight up fortune teller? Okay. Straight up fortune teller. Um, no idea good. how many of them are telling the truth, but this is what we have for so far. Okay, good, good, good to <laughs> cool. know. Oh wait, mm -hmm. in this conversation, I gave you Mayor Slayer, is it rhymes? And I gave you Rick Luce and Mayor, and um... We both laughed and tasted, yeah, yeah, one of us was, yeah, okay. Alright, I'll support the Mayor uh, when, if it comes down to it, so, cool. I mean, I, I don't trust myself to survive that long, but we can always hope. We'll see. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, Nadine. Yeah, but th that's all I got, I'm afraid. So, hi, Daddy Ben and Jack. If you've got any good targets for me, though, let um, me know. Yeah. Just to go over what's uh, being talked about, um, Pat claimed uh, Slayer and I claimed Soldier. That's correct. All right. Cheers. Bye. Um, librarian who has not confirmed their person.
but they could easily have lied, especially because um, we obviously all did that three person chats initially, so they yeah. might have not, not wanted to claim in front of another third party. But, you know. Did you roll swap with someone who has an IE in their name by any chance? Um, I told both the trio I initially went with that they were welcome to claim librarian if they wanted to. Okay. Um, uh, and the only person. Oh, yeah. So if it's Jamie that's claimed it, then yes, we may be in a roll slot, or we, I might be telling the truth, or he might be telling the truth. Um, if it's Aggie, then killer. Oh, uh, and w what about what was the three bluffs that you gave me, librarian? Um, I just gave you librarian. Um, oh. That's what I'm claiming. All right, I'll, I'll put the token down. Nice. Uh, who's the other ping apart from me? Uh. Patrick. Okay. Or am I not a ping at all? You aren't a ping at all. I just wanted to see if you'd go with it. Cool. I th just checking. Just seeing what you do. Yeah, no worries. Right. Yeah. Nice. Patrick is one ping. That is more information than anyone else has. Yay! So. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> all right. Cheers, right, cheers Rich. What do you feel comfortable claiming? Um. Okay, it's a hard claim. I... I haven't hard claimed to anyone yet, so if you feel like it, I'm okay to hard. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Um, uh, you want to go I'm the butler. I'm the butler. Oh, oh, you're the butler. Nice. I'm also an outsider. I'm the recluse. Wow, this is a very outsider heavy town. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. I mean, have I have you spoken heard... to a librarian? I've heard of a librarian who didn't see me. No, or, I haven't. Or the saint. I haven't spoken to a librarian. I have heard um, of somebody give Saint in a two, but it's not a hard claim. Um, yeah, was, I've had a hard claim of Saint from someone, so. Okay. That does put us into a bearing game if, of course, we're all te telling mm. the truth. Mm. Um, who's your master? Um, uh, Ed, last night. Ed? Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Okay, well, that's interesting. I I can only assume that if that the library because the librarian didn't tell me what they saw, so I might, they must have seen a drunk. I think they might um, have. I haven't talked to a librarian, so I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, catch Good you later. Bye. 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 All right. Bye. Pat has reminded me to room one. I normally don't bother doing that because uh, you know. I'll just copy it down anyway. I <laughs> have. Yes. Anyway. Right, it's a barren game. Yep. All right, everyone, brace yourselves. Ooh, I've welcome heard back. of. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, nominations welcome back, ben will be in, chat. in a minute, but uh, we'll give you a couple of minutes to chat. Has anyone heard of a virgin? No. no. Okay, I've heard of a saint, a recluse, and now apparently a butler. So it's looking like a barren game. Oh no, not this again. Well, we, we almost had a barren game last time, but nobody believed a butler. So come on, let's have <laughs> it. <laughs> well, that sounds like Nikki um, wants to be nominated. Richie puts Saint, his hand up, but I don't know if that's claiming Saint, butler or not. Virgin or butler? Saint, Saint, uh, Virgin here, guys. Really? I, I can't Wait, believe you... you, Richie, because you're not sat down. Did you just call yourself the Saint Virgin? Saint Virgin. <laughs> yeah. so he's really rough. claiming to be the surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Not the it's the surgeon, other one yeah. that we're, we're showing this week, guys. Surprise. Yeah, exactly. Richie Rich is known for surgical precision in everything he does. Yes. We should chop him up for caviar. Richie, are you actually claiming surgeon? surgeon. Nominate him and find out. His <laughs> nominations are open. Hmm. Hmm. Pat, you sound like you're about to go top or bottom again. No, Maybe. I am very much not going to go top or bottom. I think that that, that was uh, that was the once, and that was enough, and no, um, never again. Chris, I think I've just proved my point that I made you earlier. Cool. Do you believe him, Chris? Do I believe the role he claimed to me in our private conversation? Yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of do believe it. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the more overarching point that I made. That's what I'm referring to. Oh, well, then I don't know what you're talking about. 
Oh, okay. Fine. Evie, are you going to do it? Um, no. I'll do it if I'm put on the block, but I don't okay, think... Nominate Evie. Uh, Nikki <laughs> just... nominates Evie. Let's go ahead. It's Evie. All right, tell us all about it. So... Evie Don't pulls... out my role, Nikki. I'm not going to out roles, but I'm going to out why I'm really fucking suspicious. Okay? Evie pulls me and Chris into a whisper, like, we're going to be neighbor fun. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> then, okay, we, we all out our roles at the same time. Okay? We had a good laugh. It was great fun. Yeah. And then I left because I saw that Pat was all alone in town square. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let Pat be on his own. Okay? I'm, I'm Pat's friend. I Aww. care about this town. Okay? Then... Evie calls me back into this whisper with her and Chris um, to then dictate to me about what I should do. Okay. And then after Chris leaves, then is like, by the way, I'm not the role which I claimed to you before. I'm actually a different role. Now to me, to me, yeah, but the way, the way, the way it happened to me, <coughs> uh, it felt like Evie is a minion who... Uh, didn't have bluffs, and then after I left, got a bluff, and then pulled me back in. So why did you not nominate Chris? Uh, because Evie said that she was going to throw herself to a virgin to prove herself. A virgin uh, is at least semi being claimed, and she's not even attempting it. Okay, Evie? Firstly, dictate was quite a strong word to use. I merely suggested that... Um, certain actions would be good to uh, take into consideration i don't i can't say any more than that without outing roles um i don't think i'm a good kill but i will let town be the judge of that and judge they will because the voting begins i do um confirm that everything that nikki has said apart from dictate did take place. Okay, you yeah, I, I witnessed the alleged dictation and it wasn't <laughs> very dictatory. Would you describe it as a dictatorship? I would not describe it as a dictatorship. There was lots of options given. Yeah, that's, yep. not, a, that's not a hallmark of your average dictatorship. Alright, four is not enough. Any other nominations? I'll nominate Chris. Pat nominates Chris. There. Not okay, the virgin, otherwise it's dramatic noise. <laughs> So, I couldn't do this last game because I had to confirm Chris, and I actually believed him. I don't believe him today. I think that conversation and him backing Richie up is weird to ask oh, on day yeah. one. But, yeah, Chris potentially evil, maybe, question mark? Chris? Again. Oh. Uh, Chris is not evil. Um, I apparently have chosen to speak for the wrong people. Um, I've been tarred by Sorry. association, but I am not evil. Okay. I'd love for us there to shoot Chris. Uh, please, Go please for it. Ah, Chris, because I feel bad. Like, I, I talked some rubbish at him, and yeah. Uh, I'm genuinely a really bad girl. You shouldn't kill me. Yeah, this is bad. This, this is, is not really a good bad. call. Six is enough. Know, Chris. Chris on the block. Why is it a bad kill? Will it ruin the um, surprise new character? Uh, are you I'm trying not, to your box? I'm not it it was was into either is of them, Nikki? and I have reason to think this is. Not I nominate wise. Nikki. Cat, tell us why I've chosen Nikki. Um, for the lols. Nikki. Uh, Cat just gave my defence. Thanks, Cat. Okay. Wow, look at all these. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, Chris and Evie. Nikki, uh, you're the uh, one that went against that. that, that wow. Enough. Nikki on the block. Wow. Please, if there is a slayer out there, shoot Chris. Is no one no one actually going to no, try the Chris the is not play. a good person to be shot. Chris yeah. is 100% a good person to be shot. Are you actually the This is 100% not a I good mean, person to be shot. No one's willing to test it. <laughs> That's a terrible. I mean, sure, Ed nominates Richie just to shut him up. Ed has yeah. nominated Richie. Tell us why. Great, he's not the virgin. Can we move on now? 
Richie. <laughs> 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 uh, clearly, I'd had the virgins to bluff, so yeah. Okay, we've currently got eight wow. on Nikki. Nine required for Richie. Here we go. Eat me tomorrow. I want a damn good reason as to why you voted for me there. Because you turned on the pact. I. I am so sure about something that I'm so close to outing you. Nikki, we should talk tomorrow. We yeah, should, because I am... Let's maybe not get carried away by emotion here, right? Is anyone happier to die than Nikki? Three is not enough. We would need to must a lot of votes for to kill somebody else, but... That's I'm pretty... Question. Guys, I'm pretty happy to die instead of Nikki. Well... Well, we you just... Should... Let me die, let <laughs> me die. Let me die. <laughs> let's, let's <laughs> it's, it's funny, Richie, we say that after all the votes for you have already stopped. Let's have an undertaker confirming. Um, Final call. Aggie is iffy. Evie nominates Aggie. Evie, tell us why you've chosen Aggie. Apparently she's a bit iffy. She might also be a bit whiffy as well, but she's a bit too far away from me to uh, confirm that. We had a conversation day one, <laughs> which was... This is just some weird prejudice, so I'm not even going to respond to that. Okay, nine required, eight to tie. I don't think we're going to get nine, so I'm not even going to raise my hand. We're trying, Nikki. It's no, not my fault no. that half the town put their hands up after I put my hand up to try and get it to tie. I don't see a reason why you put your hand up on me. Because I didn't want Chris to die. Enough. I don't think you're going to be you're there, okay Nikki, so I'm going to call it in five seconds. No, I'm not okay for you to die, but... I'm not responsible for... Why, why are you more okay died. for Chris to, uh, for me to die? Nikki is executed and dies. Everyone goes to sleep. <clears throat> so we actually just had a perfect example there of um, of a butler being naughty. Although I know for a fact that Jamie was just being absent-minded. He's not a cheater. Um, but it will happen sometimes and you've just got to roll with it. Uh, it, it is an honor system. And that right there is a perfect example of why it needs to be an honor system because Richie um, has made a genuine error there and confirming him because he screwed up is not a good thing. That should not be happening. So, um, yeah, it happens. Just roll with the point. Right, let's... Uh, we don't go to Nikki anymore. So let's go straight to Ekin. No, yeah, I can, yeah. <clears throat> Hello, I can. Hello. Who's it gonna be? Um, they had a bit of a nice uh, infight between them, so let's see if they're gonna um, let themselves, um, you know, all die or or not. Um, I'm gonna choose Aggie, Evie, and Chris. Aggie, Evie, and Chris. Aggie. Evie. Chris. Alright, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Alright, here we go. The owl. Do you know what? I'm actually going to copy and paste this to, to help, help me uh, do this easier. The owl. Goes. Base. Aggie. Aggie, would you like to live? I would like to live. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Aggie. Alhidikia has chosen Evie. Evie, wouldst Hello. thou like to live? I mean, at this point, if I choose live, then it's only going to make me look even more sus. Um, let's go with die. Oh, that's very that's very selfless of you. Oh, screw it, let's go live. <laughs> right, you sure? Um, go with your heart. The empath. What does your heart want? My heart wants to live, but... Well, then choose live. Oh, I always choose... Oh, no, let's go with death. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know what to do. 
call to do just that. Make a call. <laughs> Help me. I'm not gonna say, are you sure after your next choice? I'm just gonna leave. So what's it gonna all right, be? All right, all right, all right. Um, let's see. What will get me more trust in this game? All right, let's go death. Death let's it is. Let's die. Oh, I should have left when she said live. That would have been good content. <laughs> all right, let's go uh, speak to Chris. Chris, not that it matters at all, <laughs> but would you like to live or die? Sure, let's slide it up and drunk. I will choose to die. Okay, die it is, thank you. Thank you. Well, I hadn't thought about that interaction, but that's actually very cool. Um, so, Evie is going to die. And everyone else lives. Wonderful. Um, right, up next we've got somebody. Oh, we've got, we've got Evie. So she's oh no but we've not got Evie because she's about to die so we go straight to wild stuff hello wild star who would you like to look at tonight uh cats and nadine cats and nadine you learn that no neither of them is the demon awesome Hello, Jamie. Hello, mate. Sorry about that. I That's completely right. wasn't paying attention. It's okay. <laughs> to be fair, it is 25 to 11 on a school night. Uh, and also, it actually gave... A, it's a, it was a pretty good example of how you just roll with the punches and move on, uh, regardless of whether or not it's nefarious. And I know for a fact that you were just... Yeah. A derp. But yeah, anyway. Um, not that it matters, apparently, but who would you like to be your master tomorrow? Um... I will pick uh, Ed again, I guess. Ed it is. Cheers. Thank you. Hello, Aggie. Hi, Ben. You learn that Nikki, executed yesterday, was in fact the monk. Oh, great. Thank you. And then we'll take a screenshot for... Hiya, Pat. I love her. Here's your upload. Enjoy. Thank you, darling. Okay. So that's everything. Good. Whew. So for those of you joining us late, we're showing off the Alhadikia, a demon who chooses three players and then each of them choose whether or not they want to live, but if they all live, they all die. Uh, it's worth noting that that can resurrect dead players, and also if a character cannot die, uh, they live, because it's not if they all choose to live, it's if they all live. And so consequently that would trigger them all dying, however the one that can't die will live, but the other ones will die. Don't worry if that's confusing you. It is quite confusing, uh, but Ed's written up a big old doc on it. Let's uh, wake these guys up. Ah. Channel's around. Stop. Right, hello. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Evie died in the night. Well. Hmm. Hello, dear. What a shame, Evie. Evie and Evie, please. Thank you, thank you for dying for us, know, can, you not, can you not talk privately? Can you confirm publicly whether you chose to live or die? Mm -hmm. I, chose I chose to live. To cool. I was going to choose to live, but I thought that would put away more sus on me, so... Christopher? Thank you one for the team. Yeah, I chose to live as well. Cool. Can I chat to Evie Nagy? Yep, let's go. Uh, sure. Oddstar, can I have a chat with you? Can the demons select themselves? Yeah. Theoretically, yes, yeah. Obviously, it's massively oh. risky because oh, if so the other two say live, yeah. Yeah. you're in a sad place. Very <laughs> very much so, yeah. What happens if well, there's a Scarlet um, Woman elsewhere in the script? Wildstar, can Scarlet I have a quick word? Okay. Um, and then if the Scarlet Woman of... resurrects the Al Hadiki with the Al Hadiki ability, they turn back into the Scarlet Woman. Fantastic. Right. Damn. Uh, anybody want to have a quick word with me? Yes, please, Nikki. Uh, Turn ahead. Nadine, can I talk to you? Hello, darling. How are we doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? 
not too bad. Um, I thought I'd just bluff Undertaker because why would I? Um, but I'm not. Um, what are you actually? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, sure, I'm the librarian. What did you see? Something I'm not telling you. Uh, I have heard from. I've heard two of the supposed three outsider claims. Um, I'm pretty sure one of them is a swap. I've not heard about. Yeah, I've not heard about a recluse yet. I've heard about a butler and a saint. So interesting. Okay. So yeah, that's what I got. Um, uh, have you? You said you'd hard claimed in that first chat, so there are people to back up if an undertaker sees you. Yes. Cool. I will. Fuck. I don't get why oh, sorry, Evie and Chris were both picked, given my outburst. On the... I. Well, I think there's kind of two worlds. One is that they're potentially trying to use this. Oh, Ben, while you're here, can you turn off the voting history, please? Um, so one is they're trying to use this as confirmation, like by them being picked by the demon and being trustworthy. Uh, the other is that the demon has looked at that clusterfuck and gone, they, there's no reason for them to fight this hard if they're not, if at least one of them isn't powerful. Um, but obviously, you know what they're claiming, so you have a vest, you know, more in knowledge there. Yeah, but even with knowing what they're claiming, okay, right. I want some help on this, okay, okay and see whether my suspicions are very valid. On top of everything else, okay, which I said yesterday, Evie's second claim was Empath Zero. Interesting. So she lied in a three-way one-for-one. What did she yep. lie? Mare. Right, so she lied Mary is a three-way one-for-one. Then you left. Yep. Then you came back. She claimed empath to you then. Yep. And then what was... Su uh, well, yeah, actually, you don't you don't want to tell me what your character is in order to tell me what the demands were, do you? So, fine. Well, the, but then the fact that she's an empath zero and fought so hard to save Chris, but was more than happy for me to die? Uh, true. True, but I mean, it, I, I, you know, if if you think that the claims aren't worthwhile for that, then fine. Um, that is weird. But the fact that she's the one who's chosen to die at night, also interesting in a world yeah. of Aggie, Evie, Chris. Um, because that's very much thrown under the bus by the evil team. If that is the case. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, you're not unreasonable in finding it weird, assuming that there there isn't reason in the characters or in the ideas that Evie was trying to push you towards, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to head back to see what else I can learn. Let's do that. See you in a bit. Um, Ed, did you want to talk to me? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Pat, can we have a chat? I've already spoken to Nikki. I was going to speak to Wildstar, but I don't know if she's okay. here. Yeah, I'm here. I'd be happy to chat. All right, cool. Yes. So, will the leech or not? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I am the librarian. Okay. Uh, did you see me? Ah, oh, you're the the floating last outsider. Are you the recluse? Yeah, I'm the recluse. Okay. I So I've told quite a lot of people I'm the librarian and refused to tell them what I saw. Interestingly, neither of the people I saw may well maybe. Um, there's, there, there seems to be a lot of role swaps going on, but in the process, I keep hearing people being like, "Oh, great, you're confirming one of the three outsiders," and I'm like, "I've not, I've not encountered them yet." So cool, you're the recluse. I did not okay. see you. Sorry, dude. Okay, um, so I'm guessing you didn't see drunk then either. Uh, no. Okay, good to know. Um, All right. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, sounds good. All right, two second. Thanks, Ed. The pair, so I thought I'd get them out of the way. Did you um, tell anybody this information yesterday? Yes. And that's why I was a little... Hmm? Who did you tell yesterday? Um, I was in a group chat um, with Wildstar and Nadine. Okay, and so they can back up the fact that you said that yesterday? Yeah, so we all hard claimed in our first whisper. Okay. What are you, Nikki? Keeping it to myself for now. Okay, do you know what Evie is? Yes. 
willing to share anything? Um, no. All right. Um, Sorry, I, I'm, I'm you, having serious it, trust issues right now. You are, aren't you? Are you my washerwoman? No, I'm not your washerwoman. I think I'd fight that hard to stay alive as a washerwoman. Well, I'm trying to figure out what you'd fight to stay alive as so hard. Um, I don't know. I are you the know. butler? That you, you must be the butler. Clearly. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because you're not the mayor, are you? No. Why? Why are you fishing so much, Cap? Because I, I've heard of a lot of strong roles, and oh, I'll mark you down as Raven Keeper. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, okay. Why are you being so close? Why? Because I do not trust. And also, there could be an Undertaker. But oh, I yeah, don't. I th no, there is an Undertaker. Okay. In that case, I c I will come out after I've spoken to an Undertaker. Okay. Um. Hmm. Right. I mean, Evie. One of one of Evie and Chris could be a minion. Could be. Could be. Right. I will speak to some other people then. Um, this has been really informative, but Bye, as always. All right. We. Um, sure. Yeah. But. Welcome oh, back, everyone. Welcome for... back. No. Uh, take a couple of minutes, and then we'll open nominations. I'd yeah. love for a Slayer to shoot Chris. Does anyone have any leads? Nikki, Nikki, I d did you not hear what I told you? I did, and I, I heard how much you were fishing. I, I feel like I've this... heard information that suggests oh God. shooting Chris is a waste of time. Exactly. Richie, what's that in chat? Can someone what? Um. So. Aggie, Chris, and I believe that the voting yesterday between Nadine to Jamie on Nikki was really suspicious. Your, your, your voting on me was really suspicious, but... Um, well, the two that went up late were... That. The two that went up late were Ekin and Jamie. Mm. There is a yeah. reason why there was a block yesterday based on information. Well, we would like to kill into that block because we have... Well, I trust Aggie, Nikki, and Chris. Mechanically. Mm -hmm. Essentially. In, in, so in, a, in a scenario where minions can also be selected, really. So in the world where Nikki is gunning for Evie and Chris because he got all the bad social issues and mm. that Evie was... And was an mm. even Chris post voted for Nikki to die. Evie trusts Nikki, Chris, and Aggie. <laughs> That's an interesting. Well, I, I take you have a good to... reason for trusting Aggie, yeah, Evie. Sorry. I take you have a good reason for trusting Aggie, yeah, Evie. Yeah, I do. But that yeah. means that you're probably gonna want her executed because you don't trust me at all. No, no. It... Yeah, no. Okay, I, I, I Nikki. Assume it's to do with what you told me yesterday, yeah. Nikki. Yeah. Remember, remember the conversation yeah. we just had. Hold on, I hold think on. it's to do with I think it's to do with that. When you said that you would disclose something after something else happened, I think that something has happened. Nominations are open. So I heard that Richie claimed demon. We should probably kill him. Sure. Two, two, two on the nose for me. Like, <laughs> all kill the late votes. Ekin and Jamie. <laughs> More to think Jamie that way. is disposable, I think, and would be uh, actually no. Uh, Jamie would be an excellent one for reasons. I nominate Jamie. Yeah, tell us why. Um, I believe it'd be very useful to get an Undertaker read on Jamie. Jamie? Uh, yeah, no defence. Happy to die. Okay, five required. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. There's five needed. Mm, oh. yeah. Wow, mm, what? Okay. Yep, so Jamie's good. Cool. Five is enough. Mm. So it that's Baron game five. then. Seven of the living players willing to vote for that, dropping and jumping. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, uh, I dropped. There were 
you know, exactly five most of the time. No, I, I you, you have not got a problem with Wildstar. That's, yeah, Ed nominates the Dean. All right, Ed, tell us why. Uh, already five hands up, no reason to make that six. Um, and Nadine was one of the people that voted for Nikki with no reason yesterday. Nadine? Uh, I voted for all of them yesterday because I sort of painted, I, I've heard of an Undertaker and I thought it was good to get a read on them. Uh, I've hard claimed to Cat, Wildstar and Richie. Uh, I'd rather not die here, but if Talon wants that, it's not the worst thing either. And I didn't know if Cat and I would keep their hands up, so I mean, I put mine up just to get five. I wasn't trying to overkill it or anything. Alright, six to put them on the block. I think I'd rather Dean than Jamie at this point. We did, yeah, we had seven people very willing to kill Jamie. I mean, it looks like loads of people very willing to kill Nadine here. Mm -hmm. We've got exactly the number mm. we need. Mm. Yeah, that's but enough. do we not have a tie? No, that's... We, we dropped from 6 to 5 on Jamie. Yeah. This, this, this just feels like a random accusation based on basically nothing. Unless there's a ping on Nadine. There is circumstantial information. I don't think if she's it's the demon. thing uh, we've talked about. I've actually yeah. more called that that was not accurate. Um, oh, okay. In that I've, case, I've hard claimed cat. Well, sorry, like, I'm genuinely worried. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but... then, and yeah, there's no. I yeah, I think she's not the demon. Um, before everybody, I, I had a nomination on myself, so I would like to nominate myself. Ekin, okay. tell us why you've chosen Ekin. Um. So before the all of the other nominations, I tried to nominate myself. Um, I figured I would put it on Towns' um, in, Towns' judgment anyway. I'm the recluse, so I'm happy to die. Um, if anybody thinks um, I should die here, sure. Um, it's just gonna give a bad reading to Undertaker, but um, it's up to the town. Okay. And. I have a claim from Nadine, which is a bad execution, but again, it's up to the town. Alright, seven to put him on the block, six to tie. Yesterday's vote, from my side at least, was about not tying, by the way. It seems like we're gonna tie, so... So is it wise to kill kill Rolls, uh, Cat, which you're aware of, that the Alhudiki can't kill? No. Because apparently that's what we're going for. Thanks, Ed. I'll nominate mm. Richie. Nadine, tell us why you've chosen Richie. Um, because I'd rather live. Richie knows what I am. If Town's willing to do this instead, it would be appreciated. But I understand. <laughs> So, I'm pretty confident you're all going to kill Nadine here, so I'm going to use this to claim Al Hadiki because I kind of want Nadine to live. I feel bad she's going to die too soon. But I know you're not going to do it, so I get to just claim Demon and win and live for at least a day. <laughs> so guys, I'm the Al Hadiki. Obviously you're not going to kill me because you've already got six on Nadine, but I'll leave it to you. Alright. Uh, oh, Richie. Sorry, can I just... Where's your Scarlet Woman? Can I just make something yeah. clear? Did you just say that Nadine was the soldier? That's what that's what it sounds like. Nope, I didn't no. say that. I did no, not say didn't. that. If you listen to what I said, okay. but clearly okay. you're willing to jump on things. People that can't die. There's not enough. There's a few. Yeah. 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 But that's still not a helpful thing to have outed then, Richie. No. Uh, which was a reason that I would have voted for you if it wasn't the fact that you were doing it to save Nadine, which makes me more want to kill mm. Nadine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at this point, point, I'm outed, so... Nadine's not the point. demon, but, you know. No, she's not. No, sh no, she's not. Nadine is executed and perishes. Everybody goes to Carthage. Hmm. Oof, that is rough for evil. Very rough. Ooh, all right. I think um, the Undertaker needs to die tonight. Otherwise, this is going to spiral out of control very quickly. 
Straight to the old yeah. Yeah, Hello, Ekin. Who would you like to choose tonight? Hello. <laughs> That's a sad, sad day. I have a question, actually. Um, if a soldier um, chooses to die but cannot die, um, do they just live? Or they live. Uh, because it specifies if they all live, not if they all choose to live. So, if you attack someone who can't die, regardless of what they choose, they live. Okay, so a soldier would like definitely choose die anyways um but it literally yeah. wouldn't make any difference unless they were poisoned or right okay um let's see i think i'm gonna attack um aggie wildstar and ed aggie star and ed right thank you reckon thank you Oh, that, those are some good choices. If only you'd have picked Chris instead of Ed, you might have taken out a fortune teller and an undertaker. You know what? I'm going to make this easier. Alan has picked... be bothered to check my spelling for Al Hadikia every night, so it's called Alan from now on. Hello, Aggie. Hello, would, you like to, would you like to live? Please, yes, I'd like to live. It's a bit selfish, Aggie. All right, yes, it is. Thank you. Music's well intense, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Wildstar. Wouldst thou like to live? I can't hear you if you're mm. replying. Uh, I am... Yeah, I'd like to live. Okay, live it is, thank you. Ed, would Alan. you like to live? I'm genuinely surprised that the Al Hadiki has picked me, but I will happily die. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ed. All right. Yeah, I am very surprised um, that Ekin chose Ed because he knew Flaming Librarian. Um, I think that's probably going to be the definitive moment that we the game. But we'll see. Wow, CB, that is a that is a lot of so wow. That's <laughs> fifty subs. Wow, I don't know what to say. Thank you, very very much. I really appreciate that. That's incredibly generous of you. Wow, <laughs> fifty subs, absolute mad lad. This new sub thing is going to be coming up for like the rest of the game now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry, that's actually genuinely knocked my socks off a bit there. Although that's a lie, I'm not wearing socks. That's right, you've always got to be thinking in this game. Are you being lied to? You never know. Even the storyteller might lie about his socks. Right, where do we go now? Um, Wildstar. Probably bricking it because we've not been to it. <clears throat> You're not dead! Who would you like so to So alive, pick? okay. Richie Pat. Richie and Pat. And you learn that no, neither of them, demon. This is okay. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> All right. And with that, right with Okay, Jamie, who's it going to be tomorrow? Um, oh, um, Ed might be dead, so I will go... Oh, I'll go with... Cat, please. Yeah. Yes. I 
Hi, Pat. Hello, you okay? Yeah, not bad. Uh, let me just send you this uh, screenshot. Alrighty. Don't think we're doing well, Ben. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can't, I can neither confirm yeah. nor deny that, but... Uh... I, no, I, I'll voice my, my, my concern. Big concern? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're... Are you still hard claiming Ravenkeeper? Uh, just to add in Jamie, but right. I'm sl I'm slayer to everybody else. Yeah, you kind of I think you kind of need to uh, need to get yourself killed, don't you? I kind of do. I, I was hoping that I can choose as me tonight, and I would just quite happily sort of select to live with with the two selections that he's done. I, I was expecting to be choice three because that would have made sense. They 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 definitely want to live, so I would want to live, so we all die, and that, that's how we eliminate three people, but that will also put a crosshair on him as well, so right. he'll wow. probably good with. We are 1,623% of what we need to be on a hype train, because of all nice. the subs we've just got. Awesome. Wow, look at that. CHT, Chat thank amazing. you so much. Razor Swift, you legend. The Celtic Katie, absolute star. Thank you so much, guys. That's awesome. incredibly generous. Also, uh, Linus Astold. Wow, this is, this is nuts. I don't know what to say. I can't. I, there is nothing I can say that that will. Our community is awesome, right? Yeah, Basically I mean, just, I'm just so incredibly grateful. Thank you, thank you very much. Cool. I've I've, I've got those two updates, Ben. By the way, so so if you want to talk to chat in oh. private, by all means. Yeah, all right. I, I'll bounce. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I've actually been deli deliberate. Please unmute audio, Ben. Shut up. Um, I've actually deliberately left Aggie to last so that she thinks she's dead because I think it might be funny. Let's go see her now. I bet you thought you were dead, Aggie. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was me. Uh, I thought that I thought it'd be funny. Um, so, anyway, uh, Nadine was executed yesterday. She was, mm -hmm. in fact, the Scarlet Woman. Oh, nice. All right. Cheers. Wow, Jade Kitty. Oh, M M Byron. Emberonic, Ember, Emberonic Hydra? Emberonic Hydra, did I get that right? Did I get that right? Wow, guys, seriously, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> this is incredible. So, let's get this show on the road, right? You ain't, you ain't paying to watch me, thank you. Hello, hello. Ed died in the night. No. Welcome. Ed, can I join this chat? Can no. I join? Oh, the initial I... chat, then. If we had the initial chat, yes. Um, just for context, I picked die. I'm assuming the other two picked live. Yeah, Follow I that. picked live. Mm. <laughs> um, Aggie, can we have a real chat? Um, yeah, Wait, Evie, Aggie. let's go. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I couldn't be bothered to look up how to spell Al Hadikia, so he's called Alan for the rest of this game. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Alan. Maybe talk. Damn, Patters, Patters TTV, thank you so much for the gift subs, as well as Resnora. Absolute legends, guys. What an ins This is insane. Um, by the way, if you haven't already, you should totally go follow Patters TV. He runs, he runs Clock Tower, and it's and it's entertaining. I That's... don't think I believe that because there's also an empath and an Undertaker in the game. Hmm. It's interesting, isn't it? Um. Who have you not selected, Worldstar, at that point? The Living Claire's Jamie Ekin and Aggie. Okay. Um, for reference, Aggie, I'm the librarian. Uh, I saw a drunk. I've not confirmed to anyone who I saw. Um, I basically told a lot of people that I was the librarian and waited to see what they'd tell me as a result. Okay. Um, uh, you were not one of my pings, Aggie, so... Oh, nice, thank probably, you. I... Probably safe. Because <laughs> um, I wanted you the pings, Ed. You, you may have been one of the pings, Wildstar. Cool. I'm really worried about Wildstar and her claim now. Okay, well... Ed, can I just go and claim to you? Are you okay with that, Wildstar? Eggy, I think I'm, you're the Undertaker, aren't you? Okay, yes, fine, I'm the Undertaker. 
Okay. You can um, told told you. a butler elsewhere. Mm. There's um, a butler elsewhere. Oh, I thought that was the butler. Okay. Uh, what? Who? What do you see, Nikki and Nadine as? Uh, Nikki as monk and Nadine as scholar woman. Uh, that voting, Nadine. Oh, that works. Yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. Um, so Nadine claimed mayor in your chat. Was that was there? Yes, that is. Yeah, accurate. she said slay a mayor to me. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. Um, yeah, I saw Pat and Wildstar as drunks. Um, don't know if it's you. Don't know if it's Patrick. Uh, Wildstar. Don't know if I'm drunk. Don't know if I was poisoned. Don't know if I saw a spy. Who knows? Um, interestingly, right. a couple of the worlds sort of come together in that if I'm um, drunk, poisoned, uh, I'm uh, if I'm poisoned, I'm next to Pat. If I'm drunk, I saw Pat. You know, th there's sort of a little bit of crossover there. But meh. I mean, I think I'm drunk because if I'm sober, either an outsider claim or Aggie is the demon. Absolutely. So I'm just going to let you know that I've turned off the sound for the resub thing because I'm acutely aware that there's uh, some people watching this on YouTube weeks from now who are just hearing <laughs> over and over again for like 30 minutes. Um, but I I don't want you to think that that means I'm not grateful because I am, uh, especially to Jeff Van Vandenberg, CHG, CHG, Ember, oh, I'm trying to do this one, Emberonic Hydra, and again, CB Man for all of those uh, subs. Thank you so much. I'm going to return to the action now, then. Cool. I've been trying to act as sus as humanly possible. What to stay go, alive? To go to the... I don't know if you pick me or not, but yeah. Be your soldier, then? Emberonic Hydra. Again, Emberonic Hydra. that could be a case, but no, I'm not going to bluff soldier, because oh Evie yeah. foolishly kind of outed its town. Um, I do believe uh, Nadine's mayor claim, because Ed's, Ed's nomination of her was based on nothing and I haven't heard of any roles yet. She hard claimed Mayor to me and Milestar um, first thing yeah. day one. She, she hard claimed Mayor to me after like doing Mayor. Yeah, and I, 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 got a, I got a no on her, so she's not the demon. Fair enough. Uh, what are you? What are you? Have you? Feel free to check me if you haven't already. I'd be surprised if you haven't, given what Chris told you. <laughs> I haven't spoken to Chris. Uh, well, Chris has spoken to someone who's spoken to you because apparently you think I'm now claiming the Alcatiki, which is exactly correct, because that's what I told Chris on day one and apparently publicly to everyone. So again, surprise. No, that, that came out in Town Square. I mean, that wasn't oh, some, that's, that's not information I had. I don't know anything about Chris at all. I've not been able to speak to him. Cool. I want to speak to other people, so do you mind if I run? Yeah, you bugger off then. <laughs> bye Richard bye. to see other people, God. Other people. Yeah. Not interested in me. Never He's mind. He has. Well, <laughs> more, plenty more fish in the sea. Yeah. All right. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys. Hi Jack. Hello. We're trying. We're trying to kiss and make up. I don't know what you've heard, but Nikki had a really big fight with me and Chris on day one. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. Oh, also, you guys, you guys missed it. Um, day, day one, all three of us were like, okay, we're going to claim at the same time. Three, two, one. And then I claimed monk, Evie claimed uh, mayor, and Chris claimed soldier. And we we're all like, oh, fuck, we are the three characters who are going to mess with the mess with Alan the most. And that sudden realization. Uh, but that doesn't matter now because Evie's not the mayor, apparently. Um, no, I, I was part with, with a zero, but may I just slipped out of my mouth. What can I say? I messed up our trust circle. You but did. You should have told me before I left. I was about to, but you ran off to talk to Pat, and I was like, oh, I need to talk to Nikki. I need to tell Nikki this. That's why I pulled you back in. But uh, the thing is, is the fact that when you pulled me back in, your first thing was to tell me to protect one of you two and given that he was claiming soldier it would have meant protecting you you kind of should have said at least the empath bit first i know i know also i'm sad that i haven't been invited into the tavern 
Yeah, I know. But at this at, at this point in the game, I trust both of you. I trust Aggie. Um, Surely if Aggie's Undertaker seen me, then why hasn't Aggie pulled me in? Um, She's too busy talking to Ed and Wildstar, I guess. I don't know, maybe the others don't want you in there. But... Here we go. Tried to press Richie for a claim, mm. but nothing. Welcome mm. back to the town square, everybody. Have a minute, and then we'll open nominations. I, I'm increasingly sus of Jamie right now. Why Jamie? N I feel like I might as well just come out publicly. I was the mayor. Um, I really wanted a mayor win. Sorry for we have a fight. <coughs> I believe that. I mean, that's I'm a good, that's I'm a funny good because so. that was the claim that Evie gave gave on my first go there. Hello. <laughs> Wait, is Evie the okay. player? No, no, I hard claimed it to Cat Wildstar. Yeah. Wait, is, is there a um, double claim of player? No, uh, there isn't. isn't. No, there isn't. So, um, I believe Wildstar's initial hard claim, um, first thing day one. I'm inclined to believe that Ekin is what he says he is. I really think Jamie is going to be a good execution today. Yep. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to fight it because um, I think I think there's a, probably enough people that know my role now that I'm not going to be picked tonight anyway. So we may as well do it. What do people think about Richie as a potential execution? I know nothing I, about I Richie. I'm the demon. I just wonder if that was like a double bluff or like <laughs> he's never going to do it. But to be, I think it was two on the nose. To be really blunt, Chris, uh, I, if we're going to execute, if this was a normal game, we had three three executions left. If, as in, if this was not an Al Hadiki game, my executions would be Jamie, Ekin, and Richie in any order. Yeah. Okay. I'm on board with that. Yeah. Well, if there's a Slayer out there, I think Richie would be a great Slayer. Agreed. Uh, or Jamie. Yes, please don't shoot me and waste your Slayer shot. Um... If I turn out to be the demon, I'll buy you a legitimate, tasty drink. Even if I'm a minion, I'll buy you a drink. But I'm neither of those things. Don't waste your Slayer shot. Oh, bribery. Oh, no, bribery come on. Bribery is not related to the game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I... there needs to be a jinx on that. I don't think there's I claim a Slayer. Slayer. I claim okay. Slayer and I shoot Richie. Okay, Cat claims Slayer and shoots Richie. And it flies off and smashes through a window. Yeah. No effect. I mean, I'll, I'll, might buy you a drink, but you know, not because of that. I, want I wanted a drink. The nominations are open. Also, not the Slayer though. So no. why is the Slayer not shooting? Because they don't believe that they should shoot me. We definitely have a Slayer. Fine. Can somebody, can somebody nominate Pat? No, don't nominate Pat. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I nominate Richie. Okay, Kat, tell us why you have chosen Richie. Uh, because he buggered off and said he wanted to speak to other people and chat can confirm that that happened. And I was left alone with chat. Uh, he buggered off to speak to any of the dead players who I'm willing to claim to. But unfortunately, all of the dead players didn't speak to anyone apart from other dead players, Aggie and Wildstar, who monopolised their attention. So I got nothing for you. Um, don't kill another good player because this game could end very quickly. Okay, four votes required. Yo. Yeah, we could have. We have I don't three think evils killed... alive. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Are you are you not supporting this? Evie. Just Eight. making sure this. Down to Chris. Four is enough. All right, we can Richie overturn this if we need to. I don't have a massive issue about dying, but I'm good. And there must be a better kill than me. If there's a Slayer, they should shoot one of the other living. Yeah. Because they're probably not going to survive tonight. Mm. Richie nominates... Richie nominates Chris. Richie, <laughs> tell us why you've chosen Chris. Chris is the Ahodiki. I'm just calling it. I put the token down some time ago. I told him day one that I was the Ahodiki. Just shits and gigs. Like, who should I pick? How how should you play this? Um, but I did call out that I don't think there's a Baron in play because it makes it less spicy in terms of those triple kills. 
and don't think there's roles like Virgin, which is why I then claimed Virgin, and no one went for it. Like, it was... I, I had to coax blood out of a stone from Ed to even nominate me. Chris was in the initial triple ping. I think he was the... Th I don't know which order he was, to be fair. I can't remember. But he was basically, third. I, picked, I think he picked himself. Um, and I think he either knew he had he either risked it, knew there's a Scarlet Woman, or had previously engaged with a minion that the minion would die. And yeah, that that's my that's why I wanted to summon it, Chris. So at least I've said my piece. Okay, Chris. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not the Alhadik here. Um, yeah, that's all I can say, really. Um, that is not what I did on night two. Okay, four to tie, five to put him on the block. I mean, if Chris is the only he can select himself on night two, kudos. I can, I can kind of hear him grinning through that defense, which worries me a little. Yeah. I'm going to keep my hand down. All you're doing, guys, is killing another good player. I don't think if what I've just said isn't true. If what I've what said is not, not true, one. we haven't killed an evil player yet. Um, so oh, Richie, no just, Richie, Richie, just to be clear, if uh, if what you said is true, then Evie has to be a minion for Chris to yes. have arranged it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But so, if what I've said isn't true, so what I preface with, then we haven't killed an evil. Um, uh, which is the other very likely possibility. So we've got three evils left alive going into one, two, three, four, five, six. Given there was no Richie, panic there. Seven. Richie, there given no what you know, yeah, someone should nominate Jamie, I reckon. I'm much yeah. happier with Richie now than I was before that nomination. Yeah. Somebody nominate? I've already nommed. Final call. Uh, uh, Aki will nominate Ekin. Aki, tell us why you've chosen Ekin. Cats, uh, do you want to take this? Um, he is not an information role, he could be a demon, um, and there is reason to be s somewhat suspicious, but not hugely. I don't know, I think other people are pushing on this more, but... Okay, okay. Mm. As I said, I'm the recluse, I'm happy to die. Um, there's already four, so it seems like I'm gonna get on the block anyway, so... Okay. Four to tie, five to execute. Easier lift. Mm. I mean, it has I'm to be. I'm worried I, about. I, maybe I'll, be, the right I'll be brutally code. honest, Evie. The the person who I'm pretty certain is evil isn't voting, so I'm good. Well, five is enough. Ekin on the block. Pretty sure Pat's evil. Yeah. Uh, that's what, but I don't. But I'm pretty sure he's the spy, so I don't want him in the. I want him. Don't want him executed. I don't want him in the final three because that narrows down options. I had Pat as spy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fascinating. Final call. Mm. Ah. Bring in the game to Jealous a close. Of... Jealous of all this information. The game to a close. The day to a close. Oh. <laughs> Ekin is executed and dies. And the day is over. I mean, the game is over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. Uh, wow, evil just got dumpstered there. <laughs> that was that Quite. was rough to watch. All right. Wait, did I get accurate fortune teller knows on six people? Yes, you did. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> right. Let's let's do the roll call. So, um, hang on a minute. This music is way too intense for a roll call. <laughs> no, I'm just going to skip this track. Bear with me a moment. Okay, that's more. Okay. Right, so, um, yes, as Wildstar has already pointed out, Fortune Teller. Uh, Wildstar selected a bunch of people that weren't the demon and weren't the red herring. Ed was the red herring. Uh, Ed was the librarian, who on night one saw that either Wildstar or Pat was the drunk. Uh, Pat was the spy who registered as the drunk. We only had two outsiders. It was Jamie the butler and Cat the saint. Uh, Ekin as the Al Hadikia had bluffs of recluse, investigator, and mayor. So Ekin took recluse. Nadine the scarlet woman went with mayor, and Pat just chose Raven Keeper. Um, it would have been interesting to see what happened had Ekin killed Pat. Uh, I would probably, if Pat had been executed, I would probably have shown Aggie the Undertaker the drunk, but I'm not too sure. Uh, Nikki was the monk who was executed on day one. Evie was the empath who died in the night after getting a correct zero. Chris was the soldier who chose to die but was never going to die. Uh, Richie was the chef who got a zero. 
And I think that's your lot. Yeah. Yep. Adeem did yep. really well claiming uh, a demon. Yeah, just locking me like that. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, what was Jamie? <clears throat> Jamie butler. was the butler but who on day one twice voted without his uh, master, Ed the Librarian. <laughs> and I had to message him like, please stop cheating. <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> he absolutely <laughs> trusted that Jamie was probably good because he he kept flicking his vote up as Ekin did. And I was like, yeah, he's just done the normal meta and picked the person to his right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jamie. Oh, Hardstar, God. who did you check last night? Oh, thanks, Die Hard. That's right. Sorry. Richie and guys. Pat. Okay. So, wait, so who was the I drunk? checked both minions. There, there was, was, there was one. one. But the same. Um, as the spy registered as drunk. Oh yeah, sorry. That was that was the thing. Oh, is yeah, the... I, I still have so, Ekin down as recluse. That's why. So Nikki, why I told you to to leave Pat alone was um, it felt really spy because the Al Hadiku had managed to pick Undertaker, Empath, Soldier, and then Undertaker, Fortune Teller, Librarian as their two threes. So I was like, yeah. okay, so it's a spy game. If it's a spy game, why did they pick? the drunk fortune teller can't be the drunk fortune teller. And then it was like, well, if it's a spy game, why did they not pick the drunk raven keeper? Because they're not a drunk raven keeper. Right. Um, therefore, the Patrick probably the spy, and I wanted to keep him alive to the final three because it gave us a 50-50 on the other person. You will actually find oh, that I have not spoken to any of my team on day one at all. So that first nomination was oh, really random. Then I nice. had a chat with Ekin, and I was expecting him to pick me last night because I would have quite happily said yes and died. I was like, Aggie, brilliant. Well, stuff, fantastic. Me, me, and they selected you, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I messed up. I should have chosen Pat. I just, yeah. We, we talked about it too, but like, yep. Oh, if that third one had been Chris there, you got the double kill, though. You got the guaranteed yep. Undertaker fortune teller death. Mm -hmm. And Chris is yep. sat there going, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty yeah, scary the... being a brand new demon live on stream. Yeah. Like, I yeah. imagine. I was like, well. <laughs> I want I two games, to do... so I don't mind losing the. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, I think it was an excellent. Um, it was it was a great showcase of the Al Hadikia, um, because it really, you you saw just how, on a number of occasions, that could have been catastrophic. Because on night one we had, um, I think it was Aggie Evie. Sorry, night two was Aggie Evie Chris. Mm -hmm. Aggie chose to live. Was it Aggie? I think it was Aggie. Aggie chose to live. Yeah, I chose Evie to live. Yeah. Literally said, "Die, no live." No die, and then I was like, "You're gonna have to pick one," and she and she was like, "Okay, die." <laughs> but if Evie had gone with Liv, that would have been Undertaker dead, Empath dead. Then on the on the second night, um, Ekin went with uh, Aggie. Wildstar. 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 Aggie Wildstar and Edge, yeah. Aggie said that she wanted to live. Wildstar obviously wanted to live. If it would have been. Um, Chris, the soldier, again. Mm -hmm. That would have been catastrophic again. So, yeah. like, that game was literally on a knife edge. It could have been radically different had just one or two things been slightly different, and that is why I really love Blood on the Clock Tower. There's just yep. no, there is no other game that provides that level of, like, chaos theory than, than Blood on the Clock Tower. I know this sounds like an advert, but I am legit just a fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, with me, me, Nadine, yeah, me, Nadine, and Ekin were all left in town square on that day too. We're like, nope, probably not, not surviving yeah, today. It's nope. not going well. Nope. <laughs> no. I had the Ekin, Nadine, Richie town square chat circled as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Probably sorry, just, Evie, that you were I, really suspicious. When I was Pex, I wasn't funny. sure who would die. In. All right, gang. Uh, that's all for tonight. Thank you, you very have... much for coming and hanging out with us. Oh, hello, Ed. Sorry, yeah. Oh, you had sorry, a question before you... stream ends. Go for it. Uh, yeah, you wanted to ask me something before stream ends. Actually, no, that's all right. It, um, we got it solved. It was um, uh, Al Hadikia like an interaction, but somebody went and posted what you'd already written about it, which I assume you've posted up. Yeah, it's all yeah. posted up. So. Yeah, so we've got that solved. Uh, cool. So, yeah, massive thanks for coming and hanging out with us, everyone. Um, Tomorrow evening, Friday evening, we've got uh, some base three scripts being run by Adam. On Sunday or early hours of Monday morning, if you're a Brit, it is the US stream with Tyler and Capelli. Uh, and I just want to say a special thank you for the absolutely insane number of subs which we've received, which are literally still going now on the screen. They've been going non-stop for like half an hour, and I've had to mute them. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah seriously i really can't tell you how much i appreciate that uh so yeah take it easy look after one another and stick around because we're going to raid bye everyone